Hello all, here we are at the final week, week eight. I know it's been a long summer. It's tough taking a class in summer um, and an elective, so thank you all for sticking with it all the way through. And here we are at the final week, and really the only thing we're doing this week is pulling together all of your submissions from throughout into this final portfolio um, submission assignment. And so I just wanted to give a little bit of clarity on what I'm expecting it to look like. And then I'm gonna send an email. I taught the class one other time, but it was an on-site, five-day on-site. And so their portfolios look just a little different. Um, because of that, I've made some changes since then. But it'll give you a glimpse. And all three of the portfolios I'm sending are very, very different. One is, um, one was produced in Publisher. Um, one was, anyway, you'll see. They're, they're very different in their approach. And one is like the standard um, kind of application of paper approach to it. So uh, perhaps it'll give you some ideas in how this looks all coming together. A couple of, now for the most part, if you have every week submitted and then you've taken to heart my suggested changes, um, and just go back and make those editorial changes, um, whatever I commented about. For the most part, then you're you know you're ready to go, and it's putting those things in into a cohesive, and then a couple of other elements. So I'm pulling up the workshop document to walk through those um, with you right now. So it suggests that um, of course you have there should be a table of contents that instead, and that's instead of an abstract, right? A table of contents that identifies this portfolio includes all of these sections. Um, there should be an introductory statement that talks about um, what exactly you're doing and why you're doing it. So it can simply be um, a paragraph that just describes what this uh, portfolio is. You know, what was the tool that you've developed? What was your focus of the teaching, et cetera? And then you go into each of the sections. So analyze, design, develop, evaluate and implement. For analyze, you had analyzing yourself, your room, and your students, okay? So analyze should have all of those sections. For design, those were the, uh, the goals and the outcomes that you developed. And, um, and so that's that section, uh, responding and reacting to what were the goals. By the, by the end of this, the goal of this, and you, know, you have short-term, mid-range, and long-range that you developed. Then D, develop, those that was the teaching content right uh part a was the content these are the scripture verses we would use these are the themes these would be the topics etc so that's the part a of develop the part b of develop then were your specific strategies for teaching how are you going to engage the content in such a way that the goals will be reached that's the question. And so I've, uh, uh, you've all submitted that and I've offered response to that. So that's the second half of develop. And then evaluate is what you submitted last week and I turned those back in on Saturday. That's the how am I gonna assess that these goals from the, D, the first D design, D, how am I going to assess whether these were reached, right? And that's the, the number one question, how do I know that my goals were reached? How do I know that these students now know this, now feel this, now do this? I remember those were supposed to be, you know, very action oriented. So you could um, observe what was happening and determine whether that was true. The other half of evaluate was the side that talked about um, how you would evaluate your teaching strategy, how you would evaluate the content. So part of it was, how do I evaluate if we reached our goals? The second half was, how do I evaluate how I feel about what we did and how we did it? So two sides of evaluate as well. So analyze three sections. You, the room, the students. Design, those are the goals. And you had long range, mid range, and immediate. Develop, part A is what is the content, the scripture, the text, the um, theme, topics, that's the, de the develop part A. Part B is what are the strategies, the specific pedagogical approaches. What am I going to do? That's where you leverage the content from brain rules. That's where you understand I've got to include all of the senses. I need to have experiential learning. 
And then the evaluate also has two sides. The first side is how do I know that the students now have reached their, the goals that I set, that they now know, feel, and do the things that I wanted for them. And the second is how effective were the strategies that I employed and the content to help us reach those goals. Um, and then the last phase is implement, which obviously most of you will not have done. If you have implemented and you've been like actually using what we've been talking about for the last eight weeks, then talk about how that's been going real time. If you haven't, uh, which I assume most of you haven't, then talk about how it will be implemented. What is the plan for actually using what you just have developed? So again, a summative paragraph or two to define that. And then a reference uh, page that identifies all of the things that you would have used um, to um, come up with the stuff, the ADD. Uh, in this case, it's EI, <laughs> since we swapped and implement and evaluate. So that's it. The format can be a multi multiple ways. It can be a PowerPoint, it can be a, a publisher document, it can be a PDF, uh, it can be an actual, you know, formal application paper looking thing with a table of contents instead of an abstract, remember that? Um, as some of you used, you know, that really cool online uh, tool. Uh, whatever, whatever format makes sense for you for this project and for your practical use of it moving forward, then that's what you need to develop. If it's just for you, what is the form that makes the most sense for you? If you're gonna use it to share with a broader audience, then what should that look like? Um, so think in terms of that, and that's it, okay? Um, it, the goal was that I can see clearly this connection between who, you, you, who the students are, what they need, the goals, the content, the approach, and the um, evaluation. It should be really clear that sequence, how they all fit together. Now, some of you have been building charts, which have been fantastic. You can't just submit the chart, however, for the final project, because the portfolio should have more in that. And up here it talks about um, make sure that there is an introductory statement for each phase, either an introductory or summative statement for each phase that tell that demonstrates you know what you're doing in the analyze and why it's important. You know, you know what you're doing in the design and why it's important, etc. And then you also need to have um, a, a in identifying the impact of the Holy Spirit in all of this so that we never forget it's not about how wonderful we do a job of designing, developing, and implementing. At the end of the day, nothing is possible in terms of teaching for transformation without the power of the Holy Spirit moving through us, moving through the curriculum, and moving through the students. And so making really clear as well in a summative statement about that. So those are kind of all of the moving parts um, and like I said, I'll send, um, send some samples along via email so that you have those. Any questions you have, just drop me an email note um, and I will be checking those every day um, periodically. Now, the course ends officially Thursday at the end of the day. Um, I will do all of my grading on Friday and Saturday. And so, um, and submit final grades on Monday. So if for some reason something happens in your life and you can't have it submitted to me by Friday at the end of the day so that I can grade it on Saturday, then please, please, please let me know. Um, but I intend to submit final grades on Monday morning. Uh, so, so just so that we're all on the same page. I don't like to let these hang out there and before I know it, the next semester, you know, we're getting ready to start fall in a couple of weeks here. And we all want this done and behind us in order to do that. And of course, this week, it's just pulling all together everything you've done. So this should not be a significant uh, investment. You're not of your time. Um, most of this is all from what you've used in the discussion forums and what you've submitted each week. So anyway, uh, here we go. I look forward to reading your final projects. Thank you for hanging out with me all summer. 
And uh, for some of you, perhaps I'll see you in a classroom this fall. Um, for others, maybe not until graduation. But it's been a joy. Thank you.